What challenges have you faced raising two young children while working full time? I have to say what happened for us, what fell off the bottom is where we are challenged is with the second kid especially, it cut off our social life a lot. It cut our social life significantly. Mm -hmm. So we used to have it to where, okay, I'll take it, you know, you go out tonight, I can go out with my friends later. So we weren't doing a lot of things together yeah. because it's usually when we travel, we're gone, we're gone for work. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really justify, we're not going to take a vacation and we don't right. leave our kids and go on a vacation to get together. Right. Um, but our time together after the second child has been cut significantly just spending any time together alone or going out and socializing. I think we're actually po both fairly disciplined people. Mm -hmm. So we just see it as a situation. Whereas I know a lot of other friends will say to me like, oh, you have to still socialize and do all sorts of things. And I just, I do, I enjoy being with my kids. Yeah. And to me, I see it as, uh, you know, for the next couple of years, it'll be this way. Yeah. And even with my husband, you know, it, when we had our first kid, we said, oh, we're going to do a, a weekly date night, a month, you know, what's later on, I thought maybe we'll do monthly. Yeah. We don't do either. Yeah. Uh, and it's, I don't know, it's, you know, maybe it's only been a few years, a couple years now, but it doesn't bother me that much. And he has more of a, a kind of a discipline, logical mindset too, where yeah. we both kind of see it as this is just is what it is right yeah. now. And you know what, we're not going to probably not spend a lot of time alone. It's going to be the four of us together and, you know, just deal with it. And you're not going to spend a lot. Of, we're not going to spend a lot of time with our friends. And when we do spend time with friends, it's when we have the whole family together and it's just this chaotic. It's they have, you know, their two or three other children. We have our two children. I don't know where our, our conversation is so broken because you started to say something and then someone's kid screamed and spilled everything. So it's these broken conversations that there was no real in-depth conversation. But at the same time. Yeah. Oh, that's, you know, it is, it is what it is right now. Yeah, but is that something where you have to just kind of feel out other couples and their kids and figure out if we're, are we all okay in this environment here? Because <laughs> this is what we got right you know, here. I think other parents get it because they, they just, they're, they're the, they can't have the conversation either. They're really trying. I think as this, before I had kids, I was one of those unforgiving people where I really felt like, can they... You know, I still remember I'd have a friend, I could hear her baby crying in the background, and I was thinking, can she, and I'd be in the middle of telling her something, and I thought, can she just not leave the kid for a minute or two and let me finish talking or telling my story? And it's just interesting as a parent now, I mean, I see things so differently. Like, oh, I hear someone's kid crying, I'm like, I'll talk to you later. Um, you know, I just, I don't want you to have to try and listen to me and listen to the kid screaming at the same time. It's just, I, it's just everything, my mindset is so different, but I think I was a really... Before I was very harsh on on parents, yeah. and I think so. I had a long I had a long way to come, uh, and now I'm just incredibly forgiving. If I see somebody with a kid on a, like a kid on a plane, I try and let them know like a million times that whatever their child does is perfectly fine because I won't fly with my children. I don't bring my child on a plane, and everyone always makes fun of me because I fly. You know, I'm flying for business, and they'll say, especially on the East Coast, like, do you really have children? I fly because I fly here fairly, you know, frequently. And but none of, and I have a lot of friends here, and they yeah. said I've never seen your children. Like this is <laughs> this is mysterious that you really have children. I'm like I, I don't fly with my kids. I mean that's my, and so it's that sort of you know I I know what a challenge it is, and I don't even want to go there. <laughs> <laughs>